We Lots Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video I make some modifications to my lathe drawbar so I can hold my ER20 and my new ER32 collet holders which have different threads but I can use the same drawbar. So let's go to the workshop and see how we do it. The thread in the end of the ER20 collet holder is a half inch thread imperial and the thread in the end of the ER32 collet holder is a 12 millimeter thread. So what I need to do, rather than make a whole new drawbar and thread on the end to get the length right, if I drill this brass pin out and make a steel pin that can push in and out and then machine this bolt so it fits in the end, same length then I can swap the two different threads and use the same drawbar. So the first job I want to do is drill this pin out so I can take the thread out I should be able to take the bar out, which is a hole in. So what I need to do now is take my bolt, make it the same length and the same diameter on the end to fit the bar. And then re-drill through and make a pin that will go into there. I found this off cut which is 8mm diameter. I want to turn it down and I want to keep the ball on the end. So to do that I'll hold this in a ER20 collet. First thing I want to do, machine this piece of 8mm to 6mm. Five ninety three. That be okay. And with the file, I'll just put a dome on the end. I need to change the collet because that's an eight mil one.
starting off tool on and I just want to cut this pin off just the other side of that black line. Okay, there's the pin we've just made and you can see the down part on that side sticks out and I've left it just protruding out a bit that side. The total width of that pin is 18mm and I think the bore size is about 20.5 so for the pin to come out it would have to come out It'll only come out that far then this part here will touch the bore but once this pin is in and the thread is on the end and the draw bars fitted it's under tension anyway so it won't move okay there's the new pin and the old thread for the ER20 collet so now I can take the pin out take the thread out and make a new thread ER32 collet Here's the ER32 collet. I've got this bolt that's already been cut off. So all I need to do is get the length and machine this down to fit the end of the bar. I've screwed this into the end of the collet and I've marked in the red felt tip just there that much goes into the collet. So now this side I want to reduce to 10 millimeters by 15. Ten point oh five. I'll leave it at that. Part this off. off a soap dispenser and inside there you have a spring so what, what I do is rather than throw that in the bin I'll take the spring out and to take the spring out you just pull the top off the plunger comes out put a screwdriver inside the end to the spring just pull it out and there you have a little spring you can keep I mean useful for other jobs all I have to do now is drill a hole through with a 6mm pin. There's the hole we've just drilled. That should fit in there. The pin goes through. 
to hold it in. Now this should fit the new ER32 collet holder. See how it goes on the light. I'll take the collet out. You can see here's the thread in the end. Here's the the pin. And the reason why I put a head on the pin was so once it's in the bore, it it can move a bit, but it won't come out. Once you've got the collet in the drawbar and you're applying some pressure on the end of the drawbar, the pin won't be able to move so it won't come out. I'll take the pin out. I can leave the threaded part in the end of the collet holder so when I want to fit the collet holder it's already there and I just have to put the pin in. On the other end of the shaft I have a bush that goes in the back of the headstock and locates the bar central in the bore of the headstock. Then on the end of that I have a nut which is usually about there which tightens up and pulls the shaft through. So as the shaft pulls through that pin it locks and pulls the collet in. The primary location is the outside here and then it just, just pull into headstock to make sure it's not loose. I fitted the ER32 collet in the headstock and placed a dial indicator on the outside. On this dial indicator from 0 to 10 is 1000. about there and a half let's move it in the collet see if it makes any difference Well there it's running out at about 2000 and further down it looks like 5000. The outside of the collet about half a thou. If I take that out, we'll check the bore. I'll swap the stylus for a, a longer one that will go in the bore. Just put it at about an 8 degree angle, which is what the bore is. Tense. So even when the the bore taper is running through, the collet will actually make a difference as well to the run out. Try a different collet. This collet's three eighths. Now I've put the the bars the three eighths rod straight into the back of the collet so the collet is gripping on the full length of the rod
six they are there and three they are there so even with different collets the run out is different Four tenths. Just under a thou. There's the finished drawbar with the ER32 collet holder and an ER20 collet holder. I've left the threads in the end of the collet holders so when I need them for the lathe they're all ready to go. Well that's it for today, look after yourself, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time on Enox Engineering. <laughs>